What is safety standard? Safety standards means all laws, union rules and trade or industry custom, or codes of any kind whatsoever, in effect from the date of this agreement through final acceptance of the construction work pertaining to worker safety and accident prevention applicable to the project and or the construction work, including, but not limited to, rules, regulations and standards adopted pursuant to the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970, as amended from time to time. By following the safety standard, it will keep employees healthy and protects their well-being. They can perform their jobs more effectively and be confident that they don't have to worry about being injured or suffering from an illness. This creates a more positive atmosphere and everyone can be more comfortable at work. Petrol stations are busy places with lots of vehicle and pedestrian traffic. They also store and dispense large amounts of hazardous substances, especially flammable substances such as petrol, diesel and liquefied petroleum gas (LPG). That's why it's very important to have good systems and processes in place for making sure people stay healthy and safe. So, this video will explain about the safety standard at Shell Station that location at Paka, Terengganu which is including implementation of protection and standard prevention method, chemical handling process, evacuation, first responder and emergency planning. Implementation of protection and standard prevention method. Under the Health and Safety at Work Act 2015, every business has a responsibility to ensure so far as is reasonably practicable, the health and safety of workers, and that others are not put at risk by the work of the business. As part of managing the health and safety of your business, you must control the risks in your workplace. To do this, you need to think about what might cause harm to people and decide whether you are taking reasonable steps to prevent that harm. The table shows the risk at the petrol station which is might be happen if we do not consider the reasonable step to prevent the harm. The main types of risks are including fuel storage, vehicle movement, hazardous substances, manual handling, and electricity. This is the example of accident at petrol fueling station. Situation. A seven-year-old boy has been left with severe burns to his face after the car he was in exploded while he was playing with a lighter at a petrol station. Young Safuddin Ismail was reported to be playing with a lighter at a petrol station in the Malaysian town of Kualkrai as he waited for his mother to fill the car with petrol. Footage of the horrific incident shows the car explode in flames as Safuddin's mother frantically tries to get him out of the car. The static can ignite gasoline vapor and causing a flash fire. Other than that, use lighter while refueling there is massive threat ignition at a fuel station as it is filled with tons of combustible item. Petrol filling stations are particularly hazardous workplaces which are required to be licensed because they store and sell a highly flammable liquid. Here the safety precaution at the petrol station. Number 1. Turn off your car engine when filling the fuel tank. Number 2. Don't ever smoke, you don't ever smoke, use a lighter or light a match. Number 3. Don't use your mobile phone. Number 4. Be aware of the potential of theft. And number 5. Be careful when handling. Chemical handling process. At the petrol station, there are several chemicals that involved within the station. For the example, petrol gas. These chemicals have its own hazard rating and must be properly stored to prevent any accidents involving the chemicals from happening. If you are involved in a petrol spill situation at your nearby petrol station, do not panic. Anything can be handled safely if you follow these measures. Number 1. If an employee is available, notify them. Don't be alarmed. Things like this happen all the time. You're not going to get into any trouble. Number 2. Next, see if the station has any fuel spill items, which are usually sand-like granular absorbents that look like kitty litter. Spread this on the spilled gasoline and it will absorb it. 
Number 3. If there is a significant spill, do not start your car because the gasoline vapor can trigger a flashback. Instead, immediately alert an employee. Number 4. Call the cops. If there is a big spill and you are at a mysterious gas station with no one to help you, remember not to start your car if there is a big spill. Evacuation first responder and emergency planning. If similar where location of list name of person in charge for safety or responsible persons in emergencies and first aid, then call them or just call emergency number in Malaysia. Thus, if it early happens to you use emergency equipment such as fire extinguisher, if it has some explosion but if another incident happens like theft you also can call person in charge to prevent it. When there are accidents that happens while refueling such as fires or explosion, it is important that the situation is handled correctly following its procedures. If a flash fire breaks out as you're refueling, leave the nozzle in the vehicle and walk away. Use the on-off lever or an emergency shut-off switch to turn off the fuel at the pump. Notify the station attendant right away so that master emergency controls can be used to switch off all pumps. The natural reaction in the event of a fire is to pull the nozzle from the car tank. The fires, on the other hand, will ignite the fuel stream like a flamethrower, causing widespread property damage as well as the very real possibility of human injury. Since there isn't enough oxygen in the car gas tank to cause an explosion, it's better to keep the nozzle in place and let any flames burn out after the pump has been turned off. As a conclusion, the petrol station is a place that contains plenty of hazard. From the refill station to its underground tank is just filled with flammable gas that can get caught in flame and or explode. There have been many cases reported regarding pedestrian vehicles getting caught on fire while refilling their car's gas tank. Not just that, there's also been cases where the refill station itself get caught on fire while refilling their reservoir tank gas and the main culprit of it is human's negligence. That is why it is very important to make a hazard prevention method to prevent such negligence from happening. And in case it happens, this is where the emergency planning comes in. It can help preventing as much damage and casualties as possible to the equipment and anyone nearby. Aside from that, the handling of chemicals is also important in the gas stations. With proper handling and storing of chemicals, minor accidents such as small spillage or any hazard that can cause harm to the human when they accidentally breath in the chemicals can be prevented. That's all from us. Thank you.